We've handed over close to $9,500 to two very good organisations in town. I want to pay my personal tribute to not only those who help fund and help organise the uh, mayoral prayer breakfast, but to all those people who year after year turn up to hear the message. And this year, of course, uh, we gave some to Carers Queensland, who do such amazing work for those who care for people in the community. And also to Teen Challenge, who look after some of the young people uh, who are addicted to drugs and who are addicted to anything, in fact. They certainly do some amazing work, and without them, without both organisations, this community would be a much poorer place. The generosity that surrounds the Merrill Prayer Breakfast tells a great story about the kind of community that we are here in Toowoomba. A community that looks after its own, a community that's prepared to give to good causes. And the Merrill Prayer Breakfast is, Breakfast is a great cause. And of course, lots of people give and get a really good outcome. Well, Keras Queensland exists to support the uh, unsung heroes out there, um, the unpaid family carers. Last year was its 25th anniversary for Carers Queensland and um, it was really just started as a group of um, concerned parents um, caring for people. Your life can be sailing along and then in a blink of an eye things change and you know somebody has a heart attack or a stroke or you have a car accident and all of a sudden what you've got is not what you signed up for. We receive very minimal funding, um, uh, which really just um, keeps the doors open um, and pays for our staff to, uh, to do their basic jobs. But to do anything special, um, we just don't have any, any funding. But uh, this particular event, the prayer breakfast, we're very thankful for the um, opportunity to get that little boost of funding because that will enable us to kickstart a, a new project that we've uh, embarked upon where we'd like to, uh, we're st we have started working with, with some carers um, to document their story. For everyone that is telling a story, there's probably you know, 10 more out there that have got a similar story um, and can, can get some strength from that. Teen Challenge here in Toowoomba has been operating since 2001. Uh, but across the world we've been operating since 1958. Teen Challenge is all about helping young men and young women see that there's hope for life. You know, the, the young people that we work with, you know, are struggling with drug and alcohol issues, mental health, uh, self-harm, a whole range of issues. So it's about us rebuilding lives, you know, showing young people that life is worth living and then helping to give them the tools to be able to do that. We're very involved in the community, so Wednesdays, for example, is our community work day. So we've got young men, young women all over Toowoomba helping out various businesses, cafes, RSPCA, local churches, a whole range of things. So it's an opportunity for our young people to give back to the community. We, we don't receive any government funding to do what we do here in Toowoomba. So we do rely heavily on the generosity of the community through fundraising, donations. So the Merrill Prayer Breakfast, we're greatly appreciative uh, for the funds that are being raised to support our work here. We also have some sustainable initiatives, you know, so we've set up um, a lawn mowing business which helps to give our young men and our young women some, some real work skills, um, but also that does generate some income for Teen Challenge. Uh, we also have cattle, so we've been producing cattle, wagyu beef here on our 60 acres, so we've been able to sell bulls as they're born, so that's also brought some income into what we do. So we're constantly looking for sustainable initiatives that can help to keep us doing what we're doing.